Hey guys, John Bergsman here from the showroom at Freeway Sports Center here in Fenton. Surrounded by Polar Craft boats, the lower showroom's got more Polar Crafts, Angler Quest. Jim and the guys here have got lots of stock for you. Really good selection right now, so get here early season to pick out that boat you've been thinking about. We've got two awesome reports coming to you today. The first one from Saginaw Bay, Michigan, uh, and Jason Graham and Send It Charters, who's a guide right there out of Linwood Beach Marina. He sent us an awesome report. We'll talk to you all about Saginaw Bay fishing. The second half of the report is gonna be the great coho bite that's going on right now from South Haven all the way up to Grand Haven on the west shore there of Michigan on Lake Michigan. So stay tuned. Two great reports here on Fisherman's Digest Hot Bites. So anyway, Saginaw Bay, uh, what's going on in Saginaw Bay? Jason, Jason Graham is our local expert there at Send It Charters. Now, Send It Charters, you can get a hold of them online. Uh, you can also just call the Linwood Beach Marina and ask for Jason and he will, uh, he'll get, pick up the phone and talk to you. So anyway, he's running charters basically out of Linwood Beach Marina. So he's gonna be fishing west shore all the way to the river mouth. And that's really where the bite happens early anyway. So right now, Jason tells us that the water temp in the bay is somewhere from 36 to 38 degrees. And uh, it's been consistent all over the bay where he's checked. He's got a couple of areas for you to check out. The first area is 16 to 20 feet right in front of the river mouth uh, where the fish are staging to go ahead and run up into the river to spawn. Now with obviously waters in the high 30s yet, those fish aren't ready. They're gonna go at 42 to 46 degrees. That's when the spawn's gonna occur. So there's a good window of opportunity here for you to go out there and catch these fish trolling. Now it's a nice mix, mixed bag of bigger fish as well as two to four pound males. Um, another area to check is basically from Linwood Beach along the shoreline south all the way to the river mouth. Now you're gonna find scattered school of fish and pods of fish that are roaming in that area headed towards the river mouth. And so that's been a pretty productive area too. The best baits have been big crankbaits. Now, if you're in really dirtier or stained water, make sure you've got baits that have got orange, you know, bright orange, bright uh, chartreuse, maybe some uh, also a mix of chrome on bright sunny days or gold on the darker days. Also white bait, bodied baits with extra color on them have also been working good, but primarily Jay said bigger baits have been working, whether that's the dead eye minnow or a bandit or the big reapers or a spro or the new mad eye minnow. Lots of different baits to choose from anymore out there, but make sure you've got some good, bright, loud colors. And then if you get to cleaner water, let's say it doesn't blow for several days and the water settles out, then you're gonna go to more natural colors like the perch colors, whether it's purple perch or a natural perch, normal looking color. And you know, those might even be a downsized situation where you go to a smaller bait like the Flicker Minnow number 11 or the uh, number five boogie shad by Walleye Nation Creation. But lots of different choices there, but there is lots of fish in the system right now. If you're looking to get out on a charter, give Jason a call there at Send It Charters. If you're taking your own boat, uh, the Linwood Beach Marina Campground access is open and you can put your boat in right there, park your truck and trailer right there and have a great day on the water and have pretty good access to probably what I'd say is the best area of the bay early season. Now, if you're looking to get into the river, same region, of course, a lot of these fish that are staging out front and roaming out front are gonna be headed into the river. Um, river jigging in the Saginaw River in the first two weeks of April is always a pretty much a sure thing, good bet. Uh, if you're into river jigging, that's a great area to go to too. And it's also a great backup plan if you get big winds out on the bay where it kind of blows you off the bay and you just didn't want to abandon the trip altogether. Dump in for the next couple weeks into the Saginaw River. Awesome fishing. Midwest Steel Carports is Michigan's premier steel building manufacturer. We manufacture and install custom steel buildings throughout Michigan. Our engineer certified steel buildings are fully tailored to fit your every need and our up to 40 year warranty protects your investment. From residential storage sheds to commercial warehouses, let our team work with you to find your ideal building. For more information and pricing, visit MidwestSteelCarports.com. 
So anyway, like we said at the start of the show, we're here at Freeway, and this is one of the one of the times in the last several years where Jim and the guys at Freeway have actually had a good amount of stock available for customers to choose from. Lots of different models, lots of different color selections available. Also some build slots available that have been reserved so that if you're gonna come in to special order a boat, whether it's with Polar Craft or Angler Quest, they've got some reserved build spots where they can slip you right in and the, and the boat will be getting into the system quickly. So obviously they handle all the financing here for you. They take trade-ins, all the normal things you'd expect out of a great dealership awesome service department. If you're looking to get out on the water, if you're looking to trade in the older boat, upgrade different electronics, any of those types of needs, get on over to Freeway Sports Center, talk to one of the salesmen, get your best price on an Angler Quest or a Polar Craft, and get out on the water and enjoy the great area here in Michigan that we have, which is walleye fishing, trout fishing, salmon fishing, bass fishing, you name it. We've got the fish, They've got the boats. Get on down here to Freeway Sports Center. So guys, we got an awesome beach trolling report for you. Basically a big swath of ground here. The real estate comes from South Haven to the south all the way to Grand Haven, just west of the Metro Grand Rapids area. That whole strip of water, so that's Grand Haven, uh, Holland, Saugatuck, down to South Haven. It's got coho and shoreline fishing going on big time. So what are guys doing? Well, they're trolling mostly in 25 feet or less. So I'm gonna say five or so feet out to 25 feet of water. So you're doing a lot of uh, pounding baits into the sand. You're hunting for some mar marauding brown trout, but a majority of the fish you're gonna catch are coho salmon. You're also gonna find a couple of juvenile kings and some lake trout starting to mix in as we go into early April. You'll have those opportunistic bigger species come in because there's lots of bait in the shallow water along the beaches. Now. What are you looking for when you're doing this circumstance? I'll give you the setups and then the most important thing first, and that is you want stained or colored water. Uh, it's really important when you're beach trolling to find out which direction the wind's coming from and set up below a pier head where there's a river outlet or in between pier heads where you have major streams flowing into the lake itself and that dirtier flow water from runoff that's being uh, created by you know the frost letting loose or melting snow or now just rains are gonna push that dirtier water from creeks and rivers into the system and then the wind, let's say it's from the north or from the south, it's gonna blow that dirtier water Water in a particular direction and you want to be fishing in that stained or dirtier water because that's what gives the fish the comfort to be able to come in that shallow and go ahead and feed. So stained or dirty water is important. You don't want to look over the side of your boat in 12 feet of water and see the bottom. If that's happening then that water's a little bit too clean and you're going to want to go get closer to a creek or a river mouth or a pier head. Uh, second thing you want to do is make sure you got a good splash of baits out there. Now fish this time of year are going to hit a lot of things between a, a, a rapala, just a stick rapala, uh, a jointed rapala, a scatter wrap. Those are three really good popular baits guys use this time of the year. Shallow diving baits uh, and oranges and golds. Uh, fire tiger is a good color and also the blue and I mean the black and chrome can also be a really good color. Those three colors are two, all of my standouts. Um, storm thin, thin fin shads, that's a real coho specific early season baits and um, they come in lots of different colors of orange. Uh, they paint them with, with gold on them and they paint them with other colors on them but orange is the primary base color on thin fins and you wanna just run those out either on a flat line, so that means no weight, no lead, no nothing, flat lining them on the outside, maybe 60 to 80 back. And then if you're gonna run any type of a depth control device at all because you're in such shallow water, I'm gonna suggest you maybe do a one or a two color set. So you're gonna have flat lines, ones, and two color lead out. 
Uh, and you can run a lot of different stuff on the ledge. You can run uh, Dreamweaver Super Slims. That's early in the season, a really good, smaller looking bait. You can also, of course, put your Rapalas and your crankbaits on a one or a two color as well. And what you really wanna pay attention to is where are the fish biting? So you'll, you'll kind of zigzag between, you know, 25 feet and 10 feet, because your boards are gonna go ahead and run in closer and the boards might all be as, as much as five feet. And what you have in that beach trolling situation is you'll have shoreline troughs that are created by sand through the ice and through the waves. You'll actually have areas there where it's shallow to the inside and maybe even shallow to the outside and you'll have a trough of maybe 10 or 12 feet of water that is created naturally by, by the ice and also by waves and currents so fish like to lay in those troughs or on either side of those troughs and so you're just asking once you find what depth those fish are biting in then you can shorten up how much you're going from deep to shallow and tighten up those s's a lot but anyway coho are biting now another thing that's been working super good has been beach trolling or pier casting uh, in those same areas so go to a major port find their pier head and um, you're gonna wanna cast rapalas or spoons off the pier head, or you can also beach, beach cast with spawn and, and split shots to keep your spawn out there and down. I'm telling you what, guys, the coho salmon fishing right now is outstanding. Get out there, enjoy some great fishing here on Lake Michigan shoreline from Grand Haven to South Haven. So hey guys, like I said, we're here at Freeway Sports Center today. Get on down, talk with a salesman, have a great experience on the water, and most importantly, be safe and uh, enjoy Michigan's great resource. We'll be bringing you fishing reports each week from now until December. We'll see you.